Hey, Red Devil Chemist, how you doing? It's Coach Scott. I've got something here for the fifth and seventh period. So I promise you I'd make some videos on how to balance reactions so we can get this worksheet thing so y'all can get it. One of the things, one of my goals this year for you guys is to ensure that you can balance a reaction, okay? And there's a whole lot of neat concepts that go into balancing reactions. And the most important one is a balanced reaction uh, meets the law of conservation of mass and conservation of matter. Because essentially, what we start with is what we're going to finish with, right? What we start with is what we're going to finish with. And the individual particles, we're going to make sure that we have the same number of particles on the reactant side and on the product side. So if you would, let's dive into this real quick, okay? So let's see if I can move this over here so I can do this. Uh, I don't think we're all seeing it. Let's see if I can get over there just a little bit better. Okay, so let's look at this reaction right here. Now you can look at the symbols, but we're going to talk about what we've got. We've got calcium hydroxide, calcium hydroxide. And we've got calcium uh, one calcium, we've got two hydroxides, which is a polyatomic ion. And we've got two because I can tell I've got this here, right? And what that tells me, this polyatomic ion, and if you remember from our Pogles, is a minus one. Calcium is a group two, a group two metal, so it's got a plus two. So we do the crisscross method, move things down so we have a one here and a two there. Again, that's why we learned that in November-ish. We've got ACL, or hydrochloric acid. Something we learned this week is the S stands for a solid. That's in an aqueous solution or in water. We've got calcium chloride, CaCl2. Cl is a minus one anion. This is a positive two cation. So that'll be CaCl2. And then we have water. So to balance reacting, reaction, what we're trying to do is to get what's on the left or the reactive side to get the same number of molecules, the same number of particles, if you would, on the left side as you do on the right side. Okay? Same numbers you do on the right side. So um, there's a couple ways to do this. I show some of y'all the circle method. I'm going to do this one with the circle method. All right, so I've got calcium, and I'm going to use this purple here, okay? Calcium hydroxide, so that's calcium. That'll be that purple. So this pink is going to be the O, and then I'll make brown the H, okay? I've got those two together, all right? That's, those are always going to be together, and I've got two of those, okay? And they're, yeah, let's draw this purple thing, calcium, just a little bit bigger. And let's label this. This is calcium, purple is O, and the pink, or the pink is O, and the brown is H. All right, so this brown, I've got an H. Let's see, what do I call CL? I haven't called CL anything yet. So let's use, let's use this light blue one as the chlorine. All right, so that's what I've got on that side, okay? So the calcium, which I'm using the, the, the light purple for, we've got one of those, and then we have two chlorines on that side, okay? And the H, I use the brown, so I've got two waters, or two hydrogens, and one oxygen. the different colors so the purposes of the game and we can label it if we want to but that's calcium that's hydroxide that's hydroxide together that's uh, hydrogen that's chlorine that's calcium so we're trying to get the same number of dots the same number of colored dots on both sides and this is just one way of balancing and this is the concept that's a molecule that's a molecule all right formula if you would that's a ionic formula, and that's a molecule, and that's an acid, all right, but they're there together, okay? 
So let's see. I need two of these on this side. So the only way I can do that, okay, is to add another chlorine. I've got that. But if I do that, because those are together, I've got to add another one of those. So now, let's put a two up there, okay? It means I got two browns. I got two browns now. I got two light blues. I'm good to go. Now let's see over here. I got one calcium. Okay, I got two blues, so we're good. Oh, but we're missing uh, some hydrogens over here. All right. Got four and four. I've got to put a two here. Because if I get a two there, I've got two waters. Okay, and then I've got to put another oxygen. So if I got two there, I've got two waters. I've got a calcium chloride. I've got two hydrochloric acids, one calcium hydroxide. So how I would do that if I was doing it the way some of y'all know is I want to write down the, the elements here. Then I'll put on each side how many I've got. One and one. All right, I got oxygen. I got hydrogen. I've got chlorine. On this side, I've got two oxygens because that two goes around that. I've got two. Oh, I got one. Well, two hydrogens over there now. We'll say we got four hydrogens, and then I've got two chlorines. And on this side now, I've got one. I've got two oxygens because these these this means two moles or two molecules of oxygen. And I've got two of those, and I got four hydrogens, and I got two chlorines. So this is balanced. Now the next method I want to use, and we'll still use some different colors is just a way to balance okay so if we think about it we're going to make sure that we have the same elements on this side as we do on that side or the reactive side is going to equal the product side so i'm going to put the first element i see which is iron all right i've got chlorine there cl now this is something cool that's nh4 that's NH4. If you look at your formula sheets, you'll see that this is a polyatomic cation, a positively charged molecule, okay? NH4, that's what we call ammonia. So I could break those up, but it stays together on both sides. So just to make it easy, I'm gonna call that NH4, like it's its own individual being. Then I've got sulfur. So let's make our first count, if you would. So let's count how many irons we have on the reactive side. And I do it like this, do whatever you want to. But this lets me know I have one iron, I've got three chlorines, I've got two, because there's two outside of the parentheses, NH4s. And again, that's one molecule, right? NH4, it has got a charge on it. Now the sulfur, I've only got one sulfur. Now let's go on this side. On the product side, I've got two irons, all right? I've got three sulfurs. I've got one ammonium, one NH4, and then I've got one chlorine. Hmm. So I'm gonna have to figure out what I wanna do here. What do we wanna work on first? Let's work on the iron first. If I have two irons on this side, in order for me to balance this side, I need two irons. So let's put a two right there. But if I do that, I've got to put a two there, which means I've got two irons, but it also means that I have now, instead of three, I've got two times three, or six chlorines. Okay, six chlorines. It's not a bad thing. I haven't done anything here, but that's okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and put where I'm at so I know where I've got. Now, let's look over here. I've got two irons, I'm good. All right, 
I've got three sulfurs, not good. But let's work on our chlorines and our ammonias. All right, so I need six chlorines, right? I've got one chlorine here. If I put a six right there, that's going to give me um, six chlorines. It also will give me six NH4s. Now again, I'm just going to keep up on this line here. I've still got two irons. I've got two sulfurs. Okay. Excuse me. Three sulfurs. Three sulfurs. My fault. Three sulfurs. So we're still not balanced, but we're getting there. We're getting closer. So let's take uh, this purple and let's look at our NHs. So I've only got two NHs on this side. If I put a three there, that means I've got three of those molecules, three of those formulas, right? Three moles, that's what it means. That means now I've got three times two NHs, fours. So that means I got three times two, that's six. That means I have three sulfurs there. Let's just go along. We've still got six chlorines there. And we still have two irons there. Now let's see. Two, six, six, three. Two, six, six, three. This is a balanced reaction. So that's done. Good job. So let's take a break. I'm going to end this video. And uh, we'll put it up on YouTube and I'll start another one. So this is problem one and two. I'll go a little quicker on the others, right? But um, we should get all these done tonight. All right, so this is Coach Scott saying peace out.